Uh, okay, thank you. I will, um, you know, give a presentation. I will essentially talk about the UK feature on Graph and Network you'll find in Mathematica 10. <coughs> so the first key feature I will like, you know, I will actually discuss later in more details is the support of graph, multigraph and mesh graph to the whole system. In addition, also we provide a 3D visualization of graphs, sample graph, multiple graph, mixed graph. And as you know, in every release, we provide new capability. In this case, we enhance several of our key functionality and provided about uh, 20 more functions on top of the 200 already existing in previous release of Mathematica. And I will also show some very nice enhancement and the state of art algorithm we added to the system uh, for this release. So let's start to look at uh, <coughs> what we did essentially for multigraph and mixed graph. So as you know, a mixed graph essentially is a graph where you have uh, multiple edges, and a mixed graph is a graph where you have both uh, directed and undirected edge. So usually these type of graphs are not well supported in other systems, and they're quite complex in terms of analysis and modeling. So we managed to do that in this release, and uh, we pretty much cover and added the support of mixed graph and multiple graph to all our 200 and so functions in the system. And this is actually transparent. That means you construct a multigraph. It just works as you usually do with other constructors. And you just pass it to the function, and internally, we automatically detect that the graph is simple or a mixed graph or a multiple graph. And we do the appropriate computation, and we use the appropriate algorithm for you. So you don't have to really worry about the property of this type of graph. And that allows us actually to solve you know, some quite deep problem quite easily in one line. So this is a standard problem, the Koeninger bridge problem from Euler. You can actually solve it quite easily by just modeling the network, which is the, you know, the different bridge in the city of Koeninger, and use Eulerian graph Q to answer the problem or the original question from Euler about it. So the next feature actually also we introduce is 3D visualization of graphs. So one of the main functions we actually provided is a graph 3D. So if you take a 2D graph, for example, uh, this random graph, you can do a 3D graph, graph 3D over it, and you get a visualization of the graph in 3D. You can rotate it, manipulate it as any object in the system, and you can even evaluate it. So it's a first class citizen object as graph 2Ds, or the graph which visualizes as 2D in previous release works. So that's actually a pretty nice feature. And what we did essentially, we extended all our different uh, layout to work in 3D. So from the force directed one, spring electrical and spring embedding, to the sample planner ones to work in 3D. But it can also work in ND, actually, if you use function like a graph embedding and specify the dimensions. All you have to do is just to do the appropriate projections. So on top of that, we added new capability in different areas of this system and in different areas of graph, essentially. So first, we added new constructor. For example, you can compute spamming tree for weighted on, on weighted graph, mix or multiple graph. You can do operation on vectors construction and edge contractions. We added new functionality for social media analysis and link analysis, which is the link centrality. But also we did more in terms of path and connectivity. We added a find path, which is one function which was highly requested by user, as well as different functions which give you path based on criteria. For example, you don't want them, you know, path or the path we provide you to share common vertices or edges. But also we provided um, functionality in terms of analysis of reliability of network. So and in the same directions, we introduced new features for cycles. We have fun cycle, which actually compute all cycles, but also we provided all the mathematical foundation to analyze cycles. So find fundamental cycle, you know, give you the fundamental cycle. And edge cycle matrix give you the cycle matrix, essentially all the information to actually have a 
you know, build the basis for cycles and find all cycles and all the cycle you want with different properties. But also we enhance our, you know, feature in terms of uh, computation of uh, isomorphism. You know, find graph isomorphism now can find several isomorphism mapping between graphs. We provide the automorphism of groups and we provide canonicalization of graphs or canonical graph presentation essentially. We also provide, um, you know, transitive closure for reachability of a graph as well as transitive reduction, the opposite. And on top of that, we have computation over polynomials. So we have total polynomial, which is a graph invariant polynomial, and chromatic polynomial as well as uh, flow polynomials. So this is a really large range of features which allow you to actually solve really complex problems. But on top of that, you can actually build some nice basic, you know, fun, you know, object like a maze generator on top of our graph. So in this example, if you take a grid graph and, you know, you add some weight, random weight, you can use find a spamming tree, the new functions to actually compute the spamming tree. And, you know, there is a root at one. And then you can do a graph to actually generate the maze. So you can generate the maze in three lines. And even if you want to solve it, you can just do highlight graph and find the shortest path to your maze and you have the solutions. So this is quite powerful functionality. You can get a couple of lines. Okay, so now in top of all that, we improve the already existing functionality. And one particular case is our fine shortest tool, which in earlier version was just working on set of points essentially and uh, string and such. So we enhance it and allow it to work on graphs. But also what we did behind the scene is that we added a state of the R algorithm to actually allow you to compute really large, you know, find the shortest tour on really large networks. And you can actually look from this graph the, you know, the difference in speed. So from seconds and hours we have in earlier versions, we do that now in seconds. And also on top of that, we added, you know, or we integrated it more with the new functionality we have in geographic. So you can, for example, try to do the, you know, plan the shortest tour to all the country in the world. You can use country data to, you know, find the country. You can use your position, which is the new functionality actually Bjorn actually talked about earlier. And call find shortest tour over it, and then you get the actual solutions. What's the shortest tour around the world, the distance and the different country in a couple of lines. And you can even sit and actually build an animation on top of that, which shows you actually how you are going to traverse the world using our geographic features. So in short, in this release, we actually kind of went vertical. We provided a support framework, you know, framework wide support of um, mixed and multiple graph. We added um, 3D visualization for graphs. We actually also added new capability and uh, about 20 functions. And on top of that, we added a state of our algorithm behind the scene for you to make all those uh, features work really fast and perfectly. So that's pretty much it. Thank you. <laughs>